readers, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name is Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, March 16th. Let's see what's going on with Aries. At the heart of your reading, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. This is a big lesson learned about um, when to cut ties, when to cut your losses. Your challenge is the Nine of Wands in reverse. What? Um, it, it's stating the same thing in a different way. It's saying um, when it seems like you should be committed to the end of something, but then there are indications that it, it would actually be the right choice to end things before they're finished, a.k.a. cut your losses. Nine of Wands reversed is not taking it to the completion of the action, the Ten of Wands. Knowing when to let go, knowing when to cut your losses. So the fact that that's a challenge, um, you know, I think for most of you, you're, you're on the, um, the tail end of this. I'm not getting it as a, um, a present challenge, more like they're highlighting the challenge that you, you've you overcome in learning this lesson. So it, it'll probably need reinforcement because it's it's something that you've just, um, well, it, it it's present in your life right now. And here you go. You're focused on exactly the right thing, setting good boundaries. The, the Seven of Wands says, um, okay, what have I learned about what I need from situations because of this thing that I've just been through? So let me incorporate that into my own personal boundaries and how I deal with people moving forward. Show me the recent past for Aries. Empress in reverse. I feel like you were tolerating someone who didn't see, who didn't see very many good qualities in you. The more time you spent around that person, the less you started to believe in yourself. And we have the devil reversed at the bottom of the deck, like getting over that toxic um, choice. The energy of the environment is the King of Wands. For a lot of you, this is the, the person that was, yeah, okay. This is the person that was, um, sorry, I, I'm look, just looking at the bottom of the deck here. We still have the devil reversed at the bottom. Um, the person I was referring to just a moment ago who doesn't see good qualities in you Yeah. Yep. The, uh, sorry, Spirit's just confirming for me that's what they want to highlight there. Uh, 
another thing is they're showing up as the king, you're showing up as the empress. Who outranks who here? King of Wands feels like he's top dog, or does he? Is that why he has to diminish you in order to feel more powerful himself? Non-gender specific, of course. I'm reading just the gender of the cards because I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's easy to tell a story that way. Show me the near future for Aries. Here we go. Queen of Cups reversed, focus, focusing back on your own emotional well-being. Um, it's me time. It's um, prioritizing your own needs, your own uh, emotional health, emotional well-being. Self-care. The longer you extend your emotional cup to someone who is um, just diminishing you, the, the more depleted your emotions get. So this is you withdrawing from that person's energy, refocusing back on yourself and filling your own cup. I can't tell if this is a temporary behavior that this person's going through or if it's something long term. Because I'm not getting, at least not yet, I'm not getting a, a really clear cut, like cutting your person out of your life, cutting this person out of your life sort of energy. I'm not getting that. Well, it, it may show up in the rest of the reading. Or that might just not be the area that spirit wants to focus on at the moment. Let's see. Here we go. Your surprise energy, four of pentacles in reverse. Um, I think you'd been clinging to the situation and that person had been clinging to you. We're talking about codependency here. You know how the devil was showing up at the bottom of the deck there? Um, that sort of toxic relationship vibe, the codependency needing something from one another and just taking what you need. And I feel like this person needed to have someone beneath them to make them feel more powerful. Someone as awesome as the Empress. It's not like they wanted, you know, a knight or a page. They wanted the Empress. Because if they can diminish the Empress and keep the Empress subservient to them in some way, then it's like filling some, uh, uh, well, it's feeding their ego. It could be a variety of different issues going on there. The Seven of Pentacles might be an indication as to why you stuck around or tolerated this sort of vibe from someone because you'd invested time and energy and or money into a, something that this person is involved with. With the expectation that it was going to lead somewhere positive. Okay, so the surprise energy being the Four of Pentacles reversed is letting go of all of that. Saying, okay, those things that I was holding on to out of a feeling of need, I don't need that anymore. I'm prioritizing my own emotional health over whatever that was. Show me hopes and fears for Aries. What are we hopeful for and what are we concerned about? Okay, you, you do want to reconcile with this person, dare I say, because we have temperance and the Knight of Wands. 
Um, this is healing, coming together, reconciling, blending two energies. And then I feel like the Knight of Wands is a continuation of the King of Wands person. So Spirit was already kind of giving me that indication. I hinted at it earlier that I'm not seeing an indication of a breakup so that this might be like a temporary behavior that this person is going through. They might be willing to um, re like release that mindset. Use your discernment. If that's resonating for you, that's what I'm picking up on here as a hope that you hold in your heart. But I wonder then... You, you might just be prepared, prepared to cut your losses, maybe not fully backing out just yet. The end result, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Moon in Reverse, and Death in Reverse. This is an ultimatum energy. We need to have a serious discussion. It's either going to be this or that. I think we're, this is tying into your personal boundaries that you're focusing on right now. You might be thinking about this conversation, planning for it. Um, things have got to change. It can't be the old way anymore, Death in Reverse. Moon in Reverse, we have to talk about these deep topics. We can't just uh, talk about um, what we saw on television or what we saw on Twitter today. It's like, um, I need to talk about deeper things. And the Two of Pentacles is like, we can't have it both ways. It's got to, we've got to decide, is it going to be this way or this way? Show me advice for Aries. How can they work with these energies for their highest and best good? This is pretty awesome because what it's saying is what you need to do is be prepared to leave if your needs aren't met. And I think this is like a strategic position more so than an actual like get ready to leave. Um, like when you're having this conversation with the person, energetically, when you're prioritizing your own emotional well-being, in order to uh, have the, the most optimal outcome here, you need to be serious about your willingness to walk away from this if there's not an equal exchange, if it's not balanced, if it's not your needs are being met, their needs are being met. The reason why I'm taking a bit softer approach and not coming out and saying, well, Eight of Cups, it's time to walk away. It's because it's showing up in the reverse, which is the return. So I feel like this is actually saying, like, make it clear what you will and won't tolerate here. And what the consequences would be if your needs are not met, or if the balance is not reset in terms of taking care of one another's needs. Okay. Aries, that's what I have for you today. I hope it helped. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.